This is part 8 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the concept of interpolation in Angular. Interpolation is all about data binding. In Angular, data binding can be broadly classified into three categories as you can see on the left right here. If you look at a component in Angular, it has got a component class and a corresponding view template. This view template can be inline like in this example or it can be in a separate HTML file. So data binding is all about moving class property values to its corresponding view template and back that is again from view template to its corresponding class properties. So if you look at the three categories of data binding we have here, the first one-way data binding deals with binding component class properties to its corresponding view template and the second one-way data binding deals with binding view template to component class properties and the last one is two-way data binding so it's going to be back and forth that is from component to view template and from view template to component in this video we'll discuss the first one-way data binding the rest of the two categories we'll discuss in our upcoming videos so binding component class properties to view template is achieved using interpolation let's look at a few examples of interpolation now this is the same example that we have been working with so far in this video series. Notice at the moment within our class we have got a property called page header and this property is placed inside these double curly braces. So this is interpolation and this expression is called template expression. So Angular when it looks at this template expression it's going to retrieve page header property value convert it to a string and then replace this data binding expression with that value. So when we view this page in the browser, we see the value that we have within this property page header, which is employee details. So notice on the page, we have employee details. With interpolation, it is also possible to concatenate a hard-coded string with a property value. For example, let's say we want to display page header equals employee details on this web page. To achieve this, I'm going to hard code a string within our template expression. So within single quotes, let's have this hard coded string page header equals and to this hard coded string, we want to concatenate the value that we have in this page header property. So let's save our changes and let's reload our web page by pressing Ctrl F5. Notice we see page header equals employee details. You can also specify calculations if you want. Let's say for example, I want to add 10, 20 and 30. So 10 plus 20 plus 30. Let's save and let's reload our web page. Now we should see the sum of 10 plus 20 plus 30 which is 60. So this template expression can be any valid expression. We can even use ternary operator. Let's look at an example of that. Here is what we want to do. If we have a value for this page header property, then we want to display that value. If the value is null, then we want to display no header. We can very easily achieve this using ternary operator. So the first thing that we want to check is if we have page header value. If that has got a value, then display the page header value, else display this hard-coded string no header. Let's see what changes and let's reload our web page. Now, since we have the value within the property, we see that value, employee details. Let's set this to null now and see what happens. Let's reload our page one more time. Notice now we see no header as expected. Interpolation can also be used to bind component class properties to HTML element properties. Let's understand this with an example. Here is what we want to do. We want to display this Prezim Tech logo on our web page. So for that, let's use an image element within our view template. And we want to set the source property, but we don't want to hard code the source property value here. Instead, within our app component class, let's have a property. Let's call it image path. And the data type for this is string. And we need to specify the URL for the logo. So let's go back to Presume Tech website, right click on the image and then select this option, copy image address and then let's paste that right here. Now we want to bind this property of the component class with the source property of the image element. And we are going to use interpolation for that. 
So within double curly braces, we're going to specify our property name, which is image path. Let's save our changes and then let's reload our web page one more time. Notice we see Prajim Tech logo as expected. Using interpolation, we can also call class methods. At the moment within this class, we don't have any methods. So let's create a method. Before that, let's create two more properties. The first property I'm going to create is first name, which is of type string and it has a default value, Tom. Let's create another property. Let's call this last name and it's going to have Hopkins as the default value. Now let's create our method. In TypeScript, to create a method, we first specify the name of the method. In this case, our method name is getFullName. And this method does not have any parameters. If you have any parameters for the method, you can specify them within parentheses. And then we specify colon and return type of the function. Our function is going to return full name, which is of type string. And then we open and close curly braces, which is the body of the function. So all this function is going to do is compute full name using first name and last name properties and return that. So let's return this dot first name. So this means an instance of this class and we want this first name property value to that concatenate a single space character and to that concatenate the value that we have in the last name property. And now what we want to do is call this method from the view template. And to do that, we're going to use interpolation. So within the h1 element here, I'm going to call that function get full name. Let's save our changes and let's reload this web page. Notice now we see the full name of the employee. So here we have all those interpolation examples which we just discussed. Thank you for listening and have a great day.